Okay, here's uh, some answer to a couple questions on that review sheet. Uh, some people were asking about the butadiene. Um, when they say diene, that means two double bonds, and so it would and one's after the first and one's after the third carbon. So you'd have four carbons in a row. After the first one, there'd be a double. After the third one, there'd be a double, and then you'd have um, hydrogens just to fill out that. Each of the carbons needs to have four things hooked up to it. Okay, hopefully that helps with that question. Uh, let's keep going. Um, seven. We look at question seven. Oh, there's seven. Uh, seven L. Let me erase my stuff that I did before. Uh, seven L is a benzene thing. Don't worry about that one. We uh, are just going to use maybe one benzene or two questions. But we didn't get into complicated ones like that. So don't worry about that one. Uh, 8B. Oh. Yeah, 8B. Oh, I can't move. Uh, um, 8B is another one of those benzene ones. So naphthalene, that's two benzene rings in, in together with a methyl group coming off of somewhere. Uh, don't worry about those ones. Uh, e. There's another cyclo one, and I guess that I, I said not to worry about um, um, the cyclo ones. Okay, uh, nine F. Okay, nona would be nine, and diine uh, that would be. So nona means nine long, so you'd have nine carbons long. Is that nine? Four, nine, yep. And then they said after the first one and the eighth ones, there are two. Ein means triple bonds. So after the first one, there's a triple bond. And after the eighth one, there's a triple bond. Like that. And then you have hydrogens, uh, hydrogens to fill out everything else. Uh, none there, I think, and just one there. Okay, so diine, two triple bonds. Uh, okay, uh, what's another one that you had? Uh, 10F, we just did that one. Oh, no, we did nine. H and O. Naphthal, aromatic, or it's a benzene one. Again, don't worry about that one. There's quite a few of those. 10F. Okay, yeah, that one would be two double bonds. That's where they get the diene from. Six is the longest chain, so that's why it's a hex. So diene, two double bonds, one coming off the first, one coming off the fourth. So after the first and the fourth carbon are the two double bonds. And then off the third one is a methyl, so that's this one. And also after the third one is a hydroxyl. You could probably also name that one uh, three hydroxyl, three methyl, one four hexadiene. They put the three ol at the end because anytime you have an OH, OH, it could be an alcohol. So they put that at the end, but putting three hydroxyl at the front would work too. That one's a fairly complicated one. Okay, let's keep going. At uh, 10, okay, number 12. Um, be written, oh, I gotta get rid of this stuff. As a formula, two compounds, different functional groups, write the formula. Okay, so this is where you needed to draw isomers of C2H6. So they gave a couple of different ones, uh, I guess, for each one of those. Don't worry about the uh, aromatic kind of ones, uh, or uh, I mean the ones that are in a circle, cyclo ones. Don't worry too much about those. But something like this, I could, I could ask you. Typically, I'm going to give you isomers though that, that um, wouldn't have an oxygen in it. They would just be uh, the carbons and the hydrogens. Okay, uh, let me go on. So that's number twelve. Um, 13M 
Yeah, again, that's one that we didn't talk about names for that. So don't worry about doing that one. Um, and then uh, that was 13M. 15C, let me take a look. I'm glad that you've gone through all of these. Uh, uh, which one's 15C? Two turt butyl pentane. That's a good. That's a good idea there. Two turt butyl pentane. Now the turt we didn't really talk a whole about the a whole lot about those kind of names for um, a group of four carbons that's attached. Uh, but the problem with this one is that um, uh, the name suggests going this way with your longest chain. But when you take a look at it, that's your longest chain. And that's why the name's in, incorrect. So that's something to be careful with. I might have one like that. I won't have a tert on it, but I'll have something where you've got to take a look at the name and make sure that it uh, is proper. Okay, uh, 18B. Let me look at that one. 18B, 24 hepta diene. Same thing. So um, after the second and the fourth carbon, there are uh, double bonds. So diene means two double bonds. So after the second one, after the fourth one, two double bonds. That's 18B. And then 19C is right. Whoops. Oh, no. 19C. And diethyl benzene. Another example. We can do the benzene, but we didn't talk much about the M or the I or the different numbers there. So if you were to call that 1,3-diethylbenzene, you know, that, that would be okay too. Uh, all right. I think that's all the questions you had. Most of those questions are, are fairly uh, tough ones, and we didn't talk about a whole lot. Uh, and, and for Chem 95, some of those I don't think we have to worry about. But um, if you're okay with most of the rest ones, uh, you should be okay with those. All right, hopefully that helped you out a bit.